Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance, where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe, and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button, and it'll notify you of, of any new videos when they're released for you. Well, doing a fast review on this Milwaukee uh, 11 and one screwdriver. Uh, I needed one specifically for cabinet doors. A lot of the seems so many different things are starting to use so many different connectors these days. Screw head styles. Of course, half of the fun with these is getting, getting them out. But the other thing that was cool about this that I noticed is that it, you can strip wires with it. And it's got a looping tool for... It only strips up to 10 gauge wires, but... Correction, I think it was 12 gauge wires, not 10 gauge. And, uh, 12 gauge wires. Perfect up to 12 gauge got going on. I thought that would be pretty cool. All right, got it out of its package here. It's got a cover on the tip. And a Phillips tip. So I'll pull that off. All right. This one, a little bit different than the 6 in 1 I've been using, but the 6 in 1's still real nice. Looks like a quarter inch nut driver on that side. Oh, and a couple different sizes because it's got these sizes as well. Three eighths. So that's and a five sixteenths. Uh, and the, the one quarter. One has uh, smaller Phillips, smaller flathead. But here's what I need is the square head here. And let's see if these cabinets. Let's see, I've got a square drive. And theory is that these get a bit more torque that you can grab with the square drive. Actually, they didn't even drive a screw on that one, so that's not good. You guys cutting corners, look. Two screws, one on each side. Okay. This is actually the, that was too small of the, the square head. This is the larger square head that that give it much more work. Now sometimes you can get away with using a, a Phillips head screwdriver, but a lot of times not. Anyway, that's the flat head screwdriver or the square head screwdriver. And it does grab really good in there. So I can see why they like to use it. But. All right. Anyway, seems like it'll be a pretty good screwdriver for me. Got the insulated handle. And I'll have to get into the wire stripping part. You just rotate it and hold it. Shows in the picture. So I'll have to test it out. I'm sure I'll get a chance real soon. And the benders right here. I usually use my pliers, but that's kind of cool. So, a couple different functions. It's a little beefier, different, a little bigger size nut driver. So, I think definitely will come in handy for me. I've been using this one. This one works great for appliances and stuff. So, but this one, I kind of wore out the, the flathead and hence, hence I needed another one and noticed that this had some more features so I figured I'd give it a shot because I needed those extra tools. So, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, Milwaukee, nice deal. It says lifetime, but I don't know. I've put my tools through a lot. I've gone through quite a few Leatherman's and Victronix Swiss tools. This is like my third Victronix Swiss tool, and I've had about four Leatherman's before that, and I always break them when I've broken the blades. I'm trying to show you here. This one I've broken the blades, as you can see here, both blades, and even this little sharp tool. 
all it's broken as well still alive but but it's broken all right cool thanks for watching kung fu maintenance we'll see how this tool goes over time all right yeah, so this was just an unpackaging review on the tool. Uh, going to get into the wire stripping a little bit more, but I'll probably do an updated review on the tool about 30 days or so after I've had a time to use it a little bit and experiment with it. Uh, it seemed, you know, just first time using it, that it worked easier on solid core wires rather than a stranded wire. Uh, but, you know, uh, still not you know really familiar with the tool and I figured I'd just do an unpackaging review on this uh, and then do a follow-up and do a, a little bit hopefully a more thorough review after about 30 days or so uh, I don't work for Milwaukee or anything just kind of just exploring the tool I needed a tool to uh, that could work on the square cabinets and uh, this had some other features to it as well so figured I'd do a review here hope you liked it and uh, I will put a link in the description below and if you order anything through those links I do make a commission on that so it helps me do what I do uh, for, for the this screwdriver the Milwaukee as well as my old screwdriver the Stanley ones that I use uh, those are both good tools just perhaps some tools are better than others but uh, review on this one and I'll, I'll give you an update in about 30 days hopefully Lord willing or felt some pain in my foot and Ay ay ay. Staple. I don't think that would go all the way through my foot, right? Go up here. I picked up my foot in the store. It might never matter. Thought I had a piece of glass in there. Let's see. <laughs> Yep, was poking right up, right up and in. Not real bad, but enough to wake me up. It's like, hey! All right. Well, got that out of there. Definitely had some crazy stuff happen this past week, and so going to be sharing those videos with you. Starting with the one I released about a week ago, which was about how my best tips on unclogging air conditioner condensate lines and the preventative maintenance you can do to prevent things. But in that video, I shared my five plus best tips about con you know dealing with condensate drain clogs with from air conditioning and heading those things off. Hope you like this video, I'm trying to share some of my best tips. Now these are steps that you can take to head things off. You know, preventative maintenance always puts the maintenance on your schedule and, and uh, by clearing these lines ahead of time, right ahead of the, the cooling season, uh, can help prevent a lot of these things from happening. Obviously you can't prevent everything, but if you head off the majority of it, it's gonna save you a lot of time and effort later on and a lot of energy later on. That way you're not getting called off of everything else. You know, if you can do it ahead of time, preventative maintenance puts things on your schedule. Anyway, that's what Kung Fu Maintenance is all about, yeah. making life easier for you and sparing you as many headaches as I possibly can. Thanks for watching, and I hope you subscribe. I hope you like the video. These past few days have been some crazy days. Hey, and I hope to be bringing you more videos uh, that happen these days. I had a compressor burnout for the tool. And then I had a unit that needed the disconnect yeah, changed out. So hopefully going to be showing you those videos and a little bit more how-to. Or a lot more how-to. And just sharing the experiences with you in the days to come. Thanks for watching. Tried everything. Below, you'll find links to the tools and some of the parts and tools and, and items used in the videos to help keep things running good and maintain things how they should be. It looks like it's internal. <laughs>